Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any Heil product, that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the product's operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you do not understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area from bystanders, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Heil Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today I'm going to do a little brain surgery. Not really, but close. I'm going to show you how to convert your PLC controllers to the new Cortex controller. The Cortex conversion is more reliable than the older PLCs and is the only replacement kit if your PLC fails. It is also easier to troubleshoot than your older PLCs and comes with a six month parts warranty. The Cortex controller is truly the brain of your Heil vehicle. It's a rugged, mobile controller that provides the intelligence and precise control you expect from Heil. Using a mobile controller and placing it in a protected location gives you and your operator valuable information, such as input signals from push buttons, proximity switch signals, engine RPM, and output signals where controllers turn on things such as MAC valves and lights. This information means easier service for your vehicle and less downtime. Before you start, Make sure the vehicle is in lockout tagout condition. Your company probably has its own specific lockout tagout protocol. If so, these procedures should be followed carefully. But if not, suitable procedures are spelled out in your Heil service manual, and we also have a Heil service shack video that shows you appropriate steps to take. I strongly recommend that you review your company policy, the Heil service manual, and watch the Heil service shack video. Safety is our number one priority here at Heil. Plus, you get to see my pretty face again. To upgrade to the Cortex controller, you'll need a Cortex conversion kit. And I recommend you also getting the Insight Display Monitor. It's an optional purchase, but will be essential for troubleshooting. Okay, now you're ready to install the Cortex controller. If these connections are not labeled, it's a good idea to label the two connectors you're removing to ensure these are reconnected to the new controller harness correctly. The left connector is P1 and the right connector is P2. Start by disconnecting the P1 and P2 harnesses from the old PLC and remove the device. Follow these steps to ensure the connector going to the new controller is properly seated. Note that the pins on the cable connector pivot in slots on the controller. Position the latch down and keep the pin seated to the pivot point. Gently press the connector down while pulling the latch over it. Now that you have the controller connector in place, plug the P1 and P2 connectors from the old PLC to the Cortex conversion harness. The P1 connector goes into the J1 connector and the P2 goes into the J2. There are labels on the connectors to guide you. After the connections are made, secure your new controller in the same location as your old PLC. After installing and securing the conversion harness and Cortex controller and the display if purchased, you're ready to calibrate the controller. Remove the lockout tag out. Open the side body access door if so equipped, this will disrupt the side door signal from the proximity switch. Press the red system power button down to off. It's the red mushroom style button. Now it's time to start the truck. Do a walk around to ensure there are no people near the truck. And then enter the truck while using three points of contact at all times. Once in the operator's seat, honk the horn two or three times as a warning to anyone who might be nearby. Then crank the engine and turn on the pump. Ah! 
maintain an engine speed of 1,000 RPMs. This applies to all conversions with the rare exception of a couple of old PLC programs. Contact Heil Technical Services if you're not sure on your unit by calling 1-866-310-4345. While maintaining 1,000 RPMs and with the system power button off and the side door open, press and hold the pack extend and pack retract buttons at the same time for about 10 to 12 seconds. Note, on Heil Rapid Rails, hold the loader down and the pack left button. Check for proper RPMs on the Cortex controller by scrolling left or right to get to the input screen. From there, scroll down to Engine RPMs as found. The RPMs showing on the display should be very close to the RPMs shown on the chassis tachometer. If not, recalibration may be needed, or loss of our stator voltage may be missing. Call Heil Technical Services at 1-866-310-4345. Depending on the model, the conversion harness has three to six inline fuses, three on the 40 I.O. controllers and six on the 80 I.O. controllers. You'll find them near the J2 connector when you open the gray loom. Note that fuses are 15 amp and should only be replaced with 15 amp fuses. If you get a waiting for communications message on the display, don't worry. This message will appear when connectors are plugged into the wrong place or if there's a blown fuse or a power failure. Double check all harness connections to ensure they're oriented and seated properly and check the fuses as well. Okay, you're all set. I hope this video helps you understand the proper way to convert your PLC controller to the Cortex controller. Following these steps will ensure the brain of your truck keeps the flow of information steady and reliable. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. Be safe out there and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.